You may have noticed them in your neighborhood. Young men in shirts and ties traveling by bicycle. Young ambassadors for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's a calling that has challenges and also has a flip side that has a lot of joy and some we believe in a lot is... Can I give you something? They talk the talk, but also walk the hard path of faith as well. The church deploys 54,000 missionaries around the world. 24 of them operate in the greater Memphis area. You've probably seen us coming around and we're a couple of missionaries for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Six days a week, from 6.30 in the morning till about 10 o'clock at night, they spread the gospel and proselytize in the Bible Belt. Coming into it is a little nerve-wracking. I was a little nervous. I didn't know the Bible too well, but people are really friendly here. No, it's definitely sometimes a challenge, and it can be scary to see what kind of reaction we get, but it's, it's worth it. It is a calling for these 20-year-olds, a voluntary assignment sanctioned by the church. At first, it's, it's tough. <laughs> As a high school kid looking into it, you're like, that's not what I want to do. Here I get to grow a lot. I get to grow in who I am. I get to understand what my purpose is and, and what really brings happiness. Have you heard of the Book of Mormon? Yeah. yeah. What have you heard about it? The commitment demands time and discipline. They can't read newspapers, watch the news. All media, including the Internet, is off limits. Missionaries are only allowed two phone calls home on Mother's Day and Christmas. Do you have any idea of what's going on in the world around you? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> who won the Super Bowl? I don't know who's in it. <laughs> Missionary work is purely voluntary. In other words, they don't get a stipend. There is no allowance. They're paying money out of their own pocket to do this for the next two years. It comes out to be like $10,000. Honestly, it's what we're asked to do. I mean, Jesus Christ, he never asked for anything, and he always gave. Let's open up that Book of Mormon to page. It's like 14. I've grown up in this church, but to be able to, to talk to friends about what I believe and what I know, I couldn't do that before, and now now I can. It makes you stand on your own two feet because our parents aren't here with us. You know, we're out here by ourselves, so we got to figure out what is true. It is not a calling for the weak of heart, the doubter of faith. It is for young men and women who believe in the word and will travel wherever told to spread the message. In Fraser, I'm Greg Coy. Fox 13.